Good morning. Well, it's January and uh, the weather's not great in January, is it? So we decided that uh, we'd have a fortnight in the tropics. So we've come to Costa Rica to look at some tropical wildlife. So this is the first in a series of videos that uh, I will uh, show. And uh, if you'd like to see what goes on in Costa Rica and what we saw, then come and join us. In case you aren't sure where to find Costa Rica on the map, the country lies in Central America with the Caribbean to the east and the Pacific Ocean to the west. To the south is Panama and north of Costa Rica is Nicaragua. This is mainly a holiday to look for wildlife. So all of the places that we visit will hopefully have some interesting things to see. Here we are flying over the Bahamas on the way to San Jose, which is the capital of Costa Rica. We're in the country for a fortnight. After an overnight in San Jose, we're off to Tortuguero on the Caribbean coast. Then we're moving on to Sarapiki in the rainforest, and then to Arenal, famous for its volcano. We'll end up in the cloud forest at Monte Verde before returning to San Jose along the Pacific Coast Road and a flight home. After an overnight in San Jose, we boarded a bus to go to Tortuguero. Halfway there we had to transfer to a boat for the rest of the journey. The ride on the boat took about an hour and a half, and there was plenty to see on the shoreline. We stayed in a lodge called Mwamba, which was very comfortable. There was plenty to see around the lodge. Here's a small selection. We also visited Tortuguero village. I'll be uploading a longer video of our stay in Tortuguero and the other places that we visit. So look out for those if you're interested. After three nights, we moved on to Sarapiki, where we stayed in Tirambina. This is a scientific research centre in the rainforest, and we stayed in the room that David Attenborough stayed in when he visited in 2019. We called it the David Attenborough Suite. At the back of our room, we had our own little garden, and a little piece of the rainforest, with trees and bushes. In one tall tree, an iguana had taken possession and he was there for the entire three days of our stay here. He was guarding his territory. We called him Cyril. It was here that we saw our first sloth. Sloths are nocturnal, so during the day they're usually sleeping, like this one. Amongst the many birds we saw was this toucan. There are lots of hanging bridges in Costa Rica and there's a big one here, over the Saripiki River. The river below is used for whitewater rafting. During our stay here, we learnt the ancient art of chocolate making, including the tasting. I'm uploading another video about Saripiki, so if you want to see what else we got up to here, look out for that. After three days we said goodbye to Cyril the Iguana and moved on to our next location which was in Arenal in a town called La Fortuna. Costa Rica has many volcanoes and the biggest is at Arenal. It's pretty impressive but you'll be lucky to see it without clouds hanging around. This was our best view. Hanging bridges either enable you to cross a river or allow you to walk up in the forest canopy at the tops of the trees. You can do both of these at Arenal. We stayed at the Casa Luna Hotel, just outside of La Fortuna. It's a very nice hotel with lush gardens and a swimming pool with hot tubs. Just a job in January. This hotel is also well known for its towel art. We saw more toucans here, and several acoutis, which are quite common. This one was busy eating something. 
We also saw another sloth here. This one was actually awake, but not moving much. Although January is in the dry season, it still rains a lot. Usually it's a tropical shower. Then the sun comes out again. One day though, it was very wet. Then the next day, we were rafting down a river in the sunshine. After five days here, we moved on to our last location at Monte Verde, which is up in the cloud forest. To get there, we had to cross Lake Aranal. The boats were quite small, and I was surprised how choppy it got. The Monte Verde Cloud Forest is a unique ecosystem, very biodiverse, and contains many rare and endangered species of plants and animals, some of which aren't found anywhere else. The cloud forest is usually shrouded in mist. While we were there though, the sun shone. We left the clouds and rain behind in Aranal. We stayed at the Hotel Belmar. This was the most expensive place that we stayed during our trip. The hotel even had its own craft brewery. You'll see lots of hummingbirds at Monte Verde, something that I was really looking forward to. This is a female hummingbird, sitting on her nest out in the forest. Another bird to look out for is the Quetzal. This bird only lives in subtropical forests and it's quite rare. We managed to see this female in the cloud forest. A very memorable experience. All too soon it was time to say goodbye to the cloud forest and make our way back to San Jose via the Pacific Coast Road. Look out for more videos from Costa Rica where we'll look in more detail at each of the locations that we visited. Thanks for watching.